Hello there everybody, this is Magic Tomato and welcome back to another Castle Blood Automatic. Now this is going to be a 2 versus 2, uh, very interesting. I don't think I've brought you a 2 versus 2 yet in this Castle Blood Automatic. So here is me down to the um, bottom left-ish uh, researching the cavalry improvements because I am of course the Byzantines. Uh, very decent cavalry, good against infantry. My teammate up to the top right is Harmonia Mundi, an excellent player, playing as the Japanese. A very good teammate to have. He's a very, very good player. Uh, I like Harmonia Mundi. I believe he's from Argentina or something like that. I cannot remember. He's playing as the Japanese over here. Our enemies uh, next to my base over here is DFM Janik, another great player, uh, playing as the Goths uh, over to this left-hand side in blue. And his teammate is Kokola, who we saw in the last game, uh, who is playing as the Mongols. That should be interesting, of course my Byzantine cavalry have the attack bonus against the infantry, so what I should really be doing is pressuring DFM Janik, because he is the one with the infantry, and my cavalry will absolutely destroy these Huskals. Uh, uh, so what's going on over here? I've got a couple of cataphracts in here. How many money actually pushing forward some elite samurai down to this way? Uh, that's kind of interesting. And now I'm moving out with a huge, huge force of cataphracts right here. He's actually luring these uh, skulls into my area. And my cataphracts are now going to begin to cut through here. Meanwhile, over here, uh, Pokemon's Mangidai absolutely destroying the um, samurai of how many Mundi. Uh, I've got a couple of cataphracts up here as well, just to help out. These mangi are going to cut through my cataphracts quite easily. So this is where it's all happening at the moment, because my cataphracts are absolutely cutting through these skulls. And now, Harmony Mundi also has a samurai getting in here as well. So very, very distracting indeed, and so, so many cataphracts. Uh, people are pushing in with some mangi to help out, but not good enough. How many money gets the um, the villagers from that guard tower that he just knocked down? And now I'm going to start knocking down some of these gates. In the meantime, I've got some uh, cavalry over this way just to help out Harmony and Mundi a little bit in case uh, Love decides to launch a counter attack. And that down goes that gate, and I get a saboteur. And now I'm really going to start being able to cut down these skulls because I'm right in here, right in the middle here. It's going to be severe trouble. Uh, also attacking over this side, uh, not really doing much over this side, unfortunately. However, down here, utter, utter massacre going on down here. More cataphracts coming in, to really attack these guys. Continuing to take out these gates. That saboteur pushing right in there, taking out that power as well. And as a result, I get another saboteur as well, which is great. How many are Sending a little force down here to help out. However, Kokolov is also sending some Mangidite in to help out his teammate. I'm starting to run out of cataphracts. Uh, taking out that gate there, however, and villagers are on the scene for me, which is great. Another set of villagers as well, because I'm taking out both gates. Uh, huge lump of samurai coming in for Harmony and Mundi as well. I think the basic plan here is for my cataphracts to take care of the skulls while Harmony and Mundi pushes in with the samurai against the castles. That looks like it's what's happening at the moment. The cataphracts are causing a distraction, and Ingo the Samurai starting to attack the castle. Uh, more Mangidai coming in for uh, Coco Love, however, more Samurai coming across as well, and more cataphracts coming in from me. Uh, those um, Samurai in there actually got owned, uh, because these Mangidai are all clustered up in this corner, which makes them very effective at taking stuff out. Me, sneaking in there with the Saboteur again! Uh, destroying that guard tower and severely injuring the, the, the accursed tower at there. A saboteur in here would be lethal. Just in there, providing it doesn't get picked off by anything. You just run into this watchtower here. Sab in there would kill all of those units around there, and that would be absolutely deadly. More uh, samurai over there for Harmony Mundi, and there's a saboteur in behind these cataphracts. Where is that going to end up? You've got to put it in there, Matt, though. You've got to. In it goes, in it goes. <coughs> and it gets killed off before it actually hits it, unfortunately. Which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, the Watchtower did get a little bit of damage, not that much though. And I'm now into the Castle Age. Another Saboteur coming in. And that didn't really do much either, unfortunately. This is where, really, where all the fighting is taking place. Harmony Mundi, Samurai to start attacking that. Uh, flagging 
Oh, I'm fighting that. There's a plugging a villager. There's a villager coming in from Kokolo. Got to take it out. Oh no, it's made it in. How many of these plugging nuts? But it, it made it in. And these cataphracts are continuously getting some upgrades, iron casting, chain body armor, husbandry as well. And I'm starting to attack the castle as well. Villager, how did he make it in? I have no idea. Uh, Harmony Mundi did signal it, I didn't react in time, that was my fault, I should have taken him out. No, no, didn't manage to do so. And a huge mass of Mungi Dai are now in uh, for Coco Love. Uh, stables coming up for me. Uh, Seed Workshops also coming up, which is very interesting. What is uh, Harmony Mundi building? He's building archery ranges. Uh, that's a good choice, because I think uh, Japanese get the arbalest. Uh, which would be a great counter to the, um, the Monday night. How many Monday going in with a sap? Oh, didn't quite make it. Very close though, unlucky. Good effort. But these Mangidai are really what's making the difference at the moment. Uh, they're actually holding us off quite well. Because <coughs> there's just absolutely no fighting going on over here whatsoever. Everybody, how many Monday and Kokolov are both sending their troops down to this area. DFM Janik has really got his uh, work cut out here. The skulls are probably taking up the Samurai right quite well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether the Samurai right are good against the skulls or not. I think they are actually. I think the skulls are actually the weakest unit here at the moment. <coughs> yeah, cause they're, pretty, they're good against archers, but not against uh, cavalry and infantry. And in goes that saboteur, it's not been seen! Oh yes, what a great effort that was. They didn't see it and it's just taken all this out totally. Uh, the watchtower has gone, I get another saboteur. And I'm now walling up even more as well. Battering rams coming out for me as well. We're going to start sending in some rams to try and get rid of these castles. Uh, pushing forward with a set of skulls here though. Very interesting. Let's see what damage you can do. I've not really noticed it. These are skulls. Oh dear, what am I doing? That's terrible. Push forward with these cataphracts and get rid of these skulls quick. I've not really noticed what's going on here. Looks like I'm going to be able to clear this up and save my gate though. That's going to be fine. Right, sent in a massive cataphract in there and this castle is in severe danger of being knocked out. However, the Mangidai managed to hold it off. Now, in come the rams. Now, this is going to be critical. Half injured rams. Uh, and all these villagers are now repairing the, uh, the wall. In come a bunch of samurai for Harmony Mundi. And uh, I have now just hit the Imperial Age. Are these rams going to be able to do anything? I don't think so. They're going to be taken out before they get there. So that's a waste. However, look at this. Massive samurai in on this castle. What's going on over here? Some more attacking from Kokolov in retaliation. Taking out some of Harmony Mundi's uh, towers. What am I doing though? Heavy camel being researched, that's a bit interesting, that's a waste. Cavalier is being researched, plate farding armor is being researched. Uh, Cap Ram is being researched, uh, this is interesting. Uh, and a mass of uh, samurai waiting outside there. Plate farding armor of course is going to be excellent against these castles. Uh, and this castle got repaired, I think, by that one villager that was in. I don't know if we've managed to kill it off yet. I have no idea. This castle over here is now in danger. And a huge mass! Oh, a very well-timed king right there from DFM Janik. Because those, um, those samurai were homing in on this castle, and this castle would have been dead. Would have been well gone. But these these cataphracts now pushing in onto this castle here. What, what is Harmony Mundi flagging? He's flagging the villager! Quick! Get rid of it! <coughs> get rid of it before it walls up, for God's sake! What am I doing? These cataphracts, are oh, they moving in? Are they moving in on the villager? Yes, they are, and this villager's gonna die. Yes, got it this time. That's better, that's better for me. Harmony Mundi, great vision though, to be able to see that. It's fantastic. Chemistry complete, I think, there for Jeffrey Janik. So it looks like his arrows are going to be dealing some more damage. However, oh, five pierce armor right now. Uh, what's going on over here? Uh, I think I managed to s signal another villager there, and Harmony and Mundi took that one out. Yeah, looks like I managed to find a villager. So, that's great news. Like cavalry coming in. 
Although with the light cavalry, it might actually be good against the manga guy. Probably a decent line of sight as well. There's a villager at the back here. Can we can we kill it off before? <coughs> Yes, how many Mundi managed to get that villager? That's great. And now we are utterly, absolutely butchering all this now. Uh, more Mangidai coming in from Kokolov, who's really saving his teammates like God knows what right here. More Cataphracts coming in from me. Oh, these Cataphracts now have the extra Pierce armor, which is great. And here Fenganic resigns. He's managed to deal with that quite well. And he realizes that time is up because we are really destroying him and Coca Love disconnects which suggests that he has also had enough. Ein. A bunch of siege rams are coming in for me. Harmonia Mundi, extra lump of uh, samurai also in there. Just wondered if I had anything else queued up. I don't think I did. Had all my villagers garrisoned safely in that castle as well. Harmonia Mundi, nice walling up. Plenty of archery ranges at the back here. It was building more as well. Uh, which is very nice. Oh dear. Uh, actually going up the town centre at the back there. That was why he was getting so many villagers. Uh, no, because he didn't actually build it. So, I don't know. That's a bit strange. But uh, that game could have been well and truly over a long time ago. If it wasn't for these Mangudai. Because my uh, cataphracts were just cutting through the skulls. Of course, Harmony Mundi was sending in lots of support as well. He was very, very... Uh, sending in lots of support there for me. Uh, attacking the castles wherever he could. Uh, trying to take out the Mangudai as well, which is really good. That was great teamwork. Um, how many many, of course, pointing out all those villagers? I don't know how on earth he managed to see all of those, whether he was just looking at it at the time and saw it, or he just saw like a little dot move across the map, wonder what it was, and <coughs> realised that it was villagers. Of course, I missed the first one. He managed to get inside to the castle, but then managed to take out the second one, and, of course, this one over here as well. Great victory for us. Uh, fantastic victory. Uh, and uh, that's it. So thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time for Age of Empires 2 Online with me and Lactic Tomato. Thanks for watching.